all right guys welcome back to the next video on the channel and today what we are going to be doing is following on with our pokemon sword randomizer these videos are going to be 90 percent of our videos whilst i'm away on this work trip just because i don't have anything here to record anything else like uh, the rival lock or anything like that so this is going to be uh, my primary source of videos we are going to do mega requires a day on the 3rd of august so i'll try and get a stream up for that we might not be able to um but yeah, so this is going to be 90% of our uh, videos and our first one today is going to be a quick video. It is just going to be us doing the gym. Remember, we do get to encounter our second Pokemon and we can catch that Pokemon. So really happy with that. If I remember rightly, the bug one, you, there's a little hexagon. You have to go in each grass and then you get to fight three Pokemon. So the second Pokemon is one that we can catch. Doesn't mean we're going to. Um, but this video might be a short one, it all based on what Pokemon we come up against. If we come up against a really powerful Pokemon on the gym leader, we might actually have to restart. You never know. Um, if we do have to restart, I do not have a way of restarting. So we will have to look at doing the same randomizer again and then choosing a different starter, basically. So that is something we might have to look into. I didn't think to bring a second um randomizer basically i should have done but i didn't i didn't think we would lose we've not lost yet but i didn't think we will lose just because we are good at pokemon it has been a while since we've other than radical red it's been a while since we lost a nuzlocke so right so can we can we do anything here Oh, do I have to speak to this guy again? You'll need to have earned the grass badge. Oh, never mind. We're not doing the gym. Fair enough. So we need to go... Right? I think. Let's have a look. Oh, right, okay, so we can fly now. That's good. We can't... Uh, when should I know if it's best to get on there on two legs? Right, okay, so... Basically, what's going to happen is we have to walk to our new... Sorry, I really thought that was going to be um, the gym. I can't remember this game for the life of me. Is that Route 3 there? So we need to go left. And we need to go up to Turf Moor. However, we have got a few um, encounters on the on the way, which is really good for us. We've only got a few Pokemon, so any encounter is good for our party. Remember, though, we are currently... I can't remember if we've been doing it right. Um, that's, I'm sure we have, though. Water, Psychic, Normal, and Electric. So we are doing it as far as one typing per Pokemon, which... Is really good and um, that is one of our challenges during this nuzlocke we don't need to win the pokemon center oh but it might have new items oh we got a battle hop see this is the thing right we could lose here because it is a a important battle in the game which means they are harder so they get i.e entei entei is a really really good pokemon to come up against um Galvin Fire would be there, but obviously it's not on this game. Um, we do have Bulbarine now as well, so we should do a lot more damage. Yeah, we're nearly doing half. So. Oh, and it lost speed too, which doesn't really do anything for um, Entei. I'm surprised the AI hasn't decided to swap out there. Oh, you lid. Okay. That was a weird one. Oh, hop, potion. Oh, we kill here. Even with the potion, we do kill. So that's good. So I said this was going to be a quick video. It's not. It's probably going to be a bit longer than I expected. We'll try and get to the first chip. It's just a shame that it's not going to be right where I thought it was going to be. Oh, helping hand. 
We're never going to do any double battles, so Helping Hand is not going to be useful to us. If we were doing 2v2 battles in like a rival lock, then yeah, maybe. Steel type. With Grassy Surge, okay. We don't have any fire type, we don't have any ground types. We don't have any fighting types. So the only thing I can think of doing here is paralyzing. Oh, never mind, Rock Smash. We can, I was gonna say we can survive the next one, but I don't think we can. Um, let's go to Magnemite, which is a steel type. Should be able to tank the next move quite well, whilst also in the next turn um, hitting a Thunder Wave off. I was wrong. Really wrong. Oh, we might be in a bit of a problem. Someone might have to die. Uh, let's just check summary. So, he is a physical attacker, so we need to look at defense. Magnemite got the best defense. Uh, Pokemon can hit ghost type with normal type moves. That's not a bad ability, you know. Doesn't help us. Um, we're just gonna have to go to this, and I think we lose here. To be honest, I hate saying it, but I think we do. If it keeps using Rock Smash, okay, Rock Smash did zero. So we need to yawn here. There is no, like, nothing else we should be doing here other than yawning. Okay. If we curse, we obviously take less damage the next time. Yawn does guarantee two sleeps. Okay. So our attack is up. Poison will not work, so we cannot use acid, which means we are not taking advantage of our item. Oh dear. Right, we need to, I don't know what we need to do. Now, it's, they're gonna wake on this turn, so we technically need to yawn again. There you go. So it's gonna use tackle, doesn't do a lot of damage. We can heal up our, um, Our slowpoke here but we're in a really bad spot are we done so I'm gonna swap out to lantern the copper Raja is going to go to sleep so that'll do quite a bit right I'm gonna take a risk here and go supersonic. There you go, that was a risk. Right, sod it, Electro Ball. Did nothing. I'm gonna use supersonic again. That'll help us out a lot. And the fact it stayed asleep will help us out even more. Yeah, confused, hit yourself, no. Okay, my attack fell, that's not the worst. Uh, Thunder Wave, hoping to get a paralysis, that's good. And it hit himself. Yeah, so going to our Slowpoke was so clutch. Obviously let us heal up, allowed um, Copper Argy to hit itself twice. And then obviously we got a Thunder Wave off as well, which would have helped Pokemon, like the rest of the Pokemon in the party, to like, be faster than that copper Raja. A whale Well, that's unfortunate. For you, anyway. We can just Electro Ball and we kill. Yeah. Copper Raja was a big problem. We didn't have any ground types, so... If we come up against that in the gym, we might be screwed. Because it will be even more powerful than that. 
So yeah, we might need to. Oh. I don't get these lead cards. They they did nothing. They're just a waste, really. If you could play, if they had a game like if you ever played Final Fantasy VIII, they had a card game on the inside. Same as uh, Witcher Three had Gwent and other things. That that's how you do a card game within a uh, different game. So it's the same. It's the same item. So we're not going to keep it. The only issue we've got currently is we can't buy any Pokeballs. So we might be screwed. Oh yeah. Um, let's fly back and get our static encounter. I completely forgot about that. I can't remember where the... Tyrogue, and then we've got Remember, we don't get the Pokemon that are out. We are getting exclamation marks on routes. And then Pokemon that are out is in the wild area. So we kind of just need to do this. Now, I... I don't think that's the exclamation mark. So we are going to kill it. If it was the exclamation mark, then we will get another. Because it's not... We couldn't really decide whether it was a exclamation mark or not I didn't see the animation pop up at the start but that's really good EXP so lantern can level up a bit yeah so level 15s we should be getting to a point where we um, we should get some evolutions happening soon right so let's just that's an exclamation mark. You know what? I was going to say, not the greatest. We can't use it though, because it's wa water. We can't even have it on the party to level it up. That sucks, because Shellos is such a good Pokemon. So obviously it's water ground when it evolves into Gastrodon. But even then, I think it's still water as a primary. I am going to catch it. It is a great replacement for Lantern if Lantern does die. Um, there's no need for that because we already have it. Yeah, so Shellos is base water. We are doing primary typing, so we can't even like get around it. We would. We are doing primary typings of the final evolution though. That is something we need to remember, but um, let's have a look actually. I'm sure it's water first, but we can have a look. Prodex. Shellos. Gastrodon is a primary water, so there is nothing we can do about that. And at the moment, Lantern will be a better Pokemon, because I don't think Gastrodon is... Uh, doesn't go to level 30. So there is a way we can swap out Lantern because what we can do is once we can use Lantern until oh that Copper Raja or the Beldum would have been great. Um, I know we haven't seen one yet so it's a great time to bring it up. We do have oh, Beldum's got neutralizing gas. That's huge. Um, we do have a shiny cause in effect. So if there is a shiny found, ooh, heal balls are clutch. Um, yeah, but if a shiny is found, we can catch it. So that is ace. And it doesn't count as the encounter for a root. Okay. Hitmonlee, this could actually be a really difficult fight. Yeah, he tanked that, but so did we. Okay. It did 20, so 10 per hit. Right, so we should kill the next Electro Ball. If we get critted, if we don't kill here... Oh, we didn't, because it endured. That's different. Oh, you healed. Nice. Right, use Electro Ball, it should kill. Nice. 
That's what we need. Um, I'm actually going to add animations back. I think I said that in the last video. Um, but we shall do that soon. Uh, options. Here we go. So, battle effects on tech speed is fast. Okay. So now we can just run through this. Beldum is like... We are fighting every single trainer, by the way. That is one of the things I like to do in my Nuzlocks. I'm not one to shy away from a trainer fight. It could mean that we lose, but that is it. That's how it's supposed to be. Ooh, a bag on. See, I don't know how much we're going to do with Bullview. Enough. Oh, I thought I said Dragon Rage then. I was going to say that's... We are in range of a Dragon Rage. That's terrifying. We're not on badge 2 yet, so it doesn't matter. We would survive anyway. Well, badge 1 on sword, because we are gaining a lot of levels. But... Right, remember the shellos doesn't count. The shellos is going in the box. Um, a rock and bug type. So we should do super effective damage. And we do. Nice. So yeah, on this series, we like I said, we are just going to keep implementing things to make it harder or going over the rules in each video. Oh, we really need a new Pokemon. We have got the mine to do. Um, that's another encounter for us. Obviously, Shellos, we can't do. So, I should really actually put it away. Right, let's see what we get. Oh, we do get an escape rope. Okay. I did... Um, gifts were supposed to be randomised. Never mind. It is what it is. Let's keep going to... Ooh, what was that? Okay. Romantis. Obviously, this isn't a new route or route, so we can't catch it. So we are just going to run. What's down here, actually? Oh, there'll be a TM or something up here, won't there? So... We are 18 minutes into this. We'll probably get to the mine. And that's where we'll end it. Suicune. My days. All we need is a Raikou now. Raikou is a huge problem for us. Thinking about it. Because. One, we don't have a ground type to stop it. And it's so powerful. Okay, it did seven. So we are going to take this down. Yeah, we just... We Entei Suicune, now we just need a Raikou. But it is really cool to see the randomizer take Pokemon from the DLCs and add them to this. Oh wow, Lantern is just super effective against everything. I do like how the animations are back on though. They will get annoying eventually, but it just gives it a bit more of a better aesthetic for people watching the videos. Um, I do wish you could speed it up though. And if you. The animations from like um, Colosseum were so good. I did like the animations from Colosseum. That is a game I am looking at doing a randomizer for is Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, take Tackle away. Now we have a steel move that helps us a lot. So obviously we've got the steel plate on Magnemite. So. Right, so what's up here then? A tree and a TM. That's what I wanted to see. Beat up. Once again, it doesn't really do anything for us right now. Could have done with a better TM there. I'm not going to lie. Let's take this guy down. Like I said, we are defeating every trainer that we see. I'm not going to purposely go through like the whole dungeon to find one trainer. But we will just 
fight the ones that we see. Just makes for a bit more interesting content. Obviously, I don't want to rush through this game. I want it to be quite a nice little um, series with a bit of randomization in there, plus obviously um, like random abilities, plus a bit of difficulty increase. Because we are going to go back to all the other games soon. Now, Radical Red is such a good game because of what it does. So Radical Red, um, I think it's Extended Emerald, things like that. Because they have all the Gen 9 Pokemon since the game like released, it does make for a better game. So like when you go back to Gold and Silver and not Heart Gold and Silver, you obviously get the new the newer Pokemon rather than Gold Silver, you don't get any. So it's just Johto and Kanto. Where's a new route? I think it is just the mine, isn't it? So yeah, let's get through these trainers, end it at the mine. It is only a 20 minute video, but I don't want it to be a mega Naruto as well. God, we are coming up against some Pokemon today. Now, this is Dragon, so it's not, we are gonna have to Thunder Wave this. Nice. Acid, not a problem. Should be able to tank that. Uh, special defense were down. That isn't a problem. Obviously, this isn't any, like, effective at all. So we might not do a lot of damage here. Yeah, we didn't. Speed fell though, that's good. So the way it's working at the minute is obviously we are now a lot a lot faster than it, so Electro Ball should do more damage because it has lowered its speed. I don't know if it takes into effect stat changes. It doesn't. That sucks. And us having a special defense drop is not helping. Right, so let's go to our Magnemite. Obviously, if it's going to use Acid again, it's not effective at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, gyro Ball, we do have our Steel Plate, so hopefully this will do a little bit. It did nothing. Okay, we desperately need a Ground Type. Um, you know what, yeah, it's Poison, so we could have used a Psychic move. Let's just do a bit. Quick. Oh, normal gem was used up. Oh, it still does only three damage. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to obviously fight these trainers, get to the mine, and that's where we're going to end it. Oh, we lose. If we don't kill here, we die. Right, okay. That was a good kill. So, what's its polywheel? Okay, now we're on the right track, right? Because now we can go back to Lantern. We shouldn't take that much damage from the polywheel, because obviously it is a water type and a fighting type. So we should tank whatever comes our way, which we did. Now we can Electro Ball and super effective, and hopefully we'll kill this in one or two hits. Yeah, one hit and killed. Lantern is such a good Pokemon. Okay, so we are at the mine and this is where we are going to leave this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video, comment if you are enjoying the series and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll speak to you all in the next one.